Hi guys, I'm Svetlin Naku from Soft Unique Global and I'm here to continue my step-by-step -step project tutorial on building a URL shortener app in JavaScript with Node.js, Express and Puck. In this lesson, I will build the app UI, the site layout, the site pages and the CSS styling. I will first create the layout template for the site, then the homepage, then the view URLs page and the add URL page. Meanwhile, I will style the pages using CSS and I will ensure that the site displays correctly on mobile devices as well. I have a lot of work, so let's start. Let's now build the site layout using the Puck templating engine and its blocks functionality. All pages in the app have the same structure, which is also called a layout. And let's explain this in more details. So each website has some kind of heading. The heading holds the head part of the HTML, uh, like uh, the, the title, the uh, style sheets reference, uh, some metadata and some script sometimes and some other things. Then comes the HTML body, which holds the main, uh, the main part of the HTML. And in the body, I will have a site navigation followed by the page content and followed by the site footer. The site navigation will be a header, which holds a list, uh, which holds uh, list items. The page content will be a main element, which will hold some uh, titles, paragraphs, uh, lists, etc. And the footer uh, element for the website will be a footer element, the, the footer HTML uh, tag. Okay, so this will be the site structure for my app. Uh, I should first uh, maybe explain what we are building. We want to build all of this. The, uh, site, the home page, the short URL page, the at URL page, the page uh, in main content and the footer. Okay, so let's explain a little bit the concepts of the layout template. In Puck and in also in other uh, templating engines, we usually have a kind of layout system. Layout system means that a page, for example, this page, could inherit the layout here, everything except this, except this. This is called layout. Things like header, footer, sidebar, and others. So it basically should be a valid HTML document, which holds uh, elements called blocks. Blocks are places in the document where something could be inserted by the child page insert inserted okay and here in the main we can inject this one here through the content block i'll show you a little bit later but the concept here is that the layout template it's a html which has a header in the header it links the style sheet it has a block head which allows us later to insert, for example, page title and other elements here. It also has uh, a body and in the HTML body we have the, this one and we have the main content, this one, and we have the footer, something like this. Let's do it. Uh, for uh, the last time we stopped with uh, this, this document. Uh, did you remember in the previous, in the first part of our tutorial, if you didn't uh, watch it, please first watch it. Uh, we created this one. So it holds a, a controller, it holds some data, mm, some data to be visualized. Uh, it will hold some day CSS styles and it holds a home, home page uh, template book. Now let's create a new file called layout.pug. This will be our master layout. It will be something like 
dog type HTML or it's, it's the, the opposite casing. This is usually how HTML documents start. And we usually have something like uh, head, like body. In the body, we may have something like header with some, some items, something like uh, main with some items here and something like footer. Footer. In the footer, we'll print something like copyright 2020 uh, URL shortener, for example, shortener. In the header, we'll place just header. And in the main, we'll put just main, just to check whether this works on or not. And in the head, we'll uh, put something like rel uh, type equals uh, style sheet and href equals to uh, slash styles dot css this is slash means the, the the basic directory mapped to to our app this means this place here the main folder which is statically mapped to this public folder through this mapping here uh, we use static mapping as public uh, the public folder the public folder is mapped okay so let's get back here in the layout we have the layout as uh, early version of this layout and we want to bind it to the home so we should type here extends uh, layout so the home.pug extends layout.pug if we uh, okay if we refresh this this will happen so why this fails because if we have footer and this this should be a tag name so in the footer we may have just the text directly here like this and we can also have here a span which holds this text okay let's let's see how this will work with span and here uh, only named blocks or mixings can can appear appear in the home put at line three one two three uh, at home.punk at one, two, three. Extend or extends with S, it should be. Uh, but looks like it doesn't work correctly. So let's get back to my slides. So I'll have head, link, uh, ref, uh, body, and some others. And this is what I will intend. Uh, I already explained this, that the different parts of this layout template will correspond to different parts of my UI and extends. Then I have block append and block content, but I don't need this. Okay, header. Ah, I don't, I don't have uh, the text here. It could be spun and spun header. Let's see what happens. Home.pug says that this doesn't work let me see whether this is the problem extends layout and yes the problem here is that we we if we extend the layout we should have in the layout template the main block uh, this this one block content i don't have it and this is the the, the problem here block content block content means please insert the content of the page which uses this template so here it will inject the home.pug this is how it works so i have block content the content is this one 
and extends layout means please load the layout like this and put this thing this where the block content stays which will be compiled like this something like this let me refresh yes this is the home and i will do it by using block so i extend the layout and at the place we have this one here the home.pug its main content without the extends line will be inserted so let's restart and see whether this works oh it again says that only mixings can appear in the top level of an extending template uh, at home block extends ah i should write block content i'm sorry so i should uh, say that please load the extend uh, the layout template okay please load this then at where block content appears please insert this one so at this place please insert this one so now it should work correctly oh it works i don't need this main because it is uh, already there so this comes from home.pug this one this one produces this part and the green parts here and here they come from layout dot book. do you see and when i have many pages like for example uh, at url view urls and others all of them will have this header footer etc i will need the copyright symbol i will uh, find it copyright unicode uh, usually i type unicode and it tells me what is the unicode character for this this symbol so i'll use the copyright symbol like this this is the one of the portions to do this and the other is to say ampersand copy which is uh, with uh, the, this at the end which is a special html entity which produces the copyright symbol okay so let's review what we did the at the size structure we have head we have body in the body we have header we have main which is block my block content and we have the site footer in the layout template we have something like this we have html uh, we have head which uh, includes the style sheet we have body where is the header comes we have main and we have footer okay let's build the header right now uh we'll have uh something like header sorry i need to go here header and i will have something like oh oh out tab didn't work i don't know why okay okay something happens and the normal uh, work doesn't uh, the normal uh, odd tab doesn't work but in the header i'll have a ul ul with some uh, list items maybe oh no i don't need them i i can just have a uh, urls and spans yeah th this will work well uh also so i'll have a ref uh, I can either place a normal uh, ref equals to, for example, slash, uh, which will be home. And this works. Uh, you can see home. And I can put this one uh, with span because otherwise, and I, it, it doesn't... Uh, it will not work if I put it like this because 
it is it comes on the next line and it will be interpreted as a tag name and this it will not work so let me see what happens i just put here spam or i need to find a way i can put here a space and here one more space spaces count like you can see and now i can say home uh, view urls something like this view urls and add oh sorry add url okay uh, which will be like this urls and add hyphen url so if i refresh i i have this and of course it doesn't work as expected but you can see that this changes the url okay and this changes the url as well but they are empty so i have the menu and maybe i should open the ready projects short url naku frapo co because this is what i want to build just to remember what what is the the end uh, idea the end target okay so let's go back here maybe i should close this or uh, hmm. i can um, i can mix my this project and the other project so i prefer to close it so uh at url view urls and the others so short urls it's not view urls but it's short urls okay so i either press ctrl s which saves my work or i just refresh and this integrated development environment repo.it uh, directly works uh, and refreshes my my mm, project and its wife so what's next i uh, maybe here i will need a block called hat why because if i have this block called hat in the home.pug i can say please in the block hat please insert title and in the title put a short url for example or something like this so let me see what happens if i refresh this now i have short url let's see what's inside the generated uh, html for this website so if i open the elements here i will see that i have html in the html i have head title body rel uh, I, I have the header i have the main which holds my home.pug elements and i have a footer which holds a span if i want to insert the footer directly here i can without a span use something like this just a footer i can put a empty space here and empty here and maybe empty here just to separate and also see that we have a rail style sheet which is missing here in the in the in the head why because we use a replacement we told the templating engine to replace the block head from the from the layout this the entire block head uh, with uh, okay i need to to have this here no the, this is after the, this is in the head not inside the block head i want to replace the block head with with this but ah, i'm sorry see th this is in the body it is not where it should be because this uh let me see control u i have head 
title rail style sheet slash rail then head then body rail type style sheet ref styles dot css which is empty it looks correctly why i have a problem here i i don't think it should not work but i have head and this is rail style sheet is in the body not in the head why i have rail and i have head here then i open the body hmm. html doc type oh i don't have the html tag do you see i have doc type html but i i'm missing the html tag so i will have html and i have i can say one equals english uh, and I can put all of this inside tab in the HTML. This is just like in, in Python. So if I refresh here, I have HTML, I have I have doc type, then I have HTML. In it I have head and body, but the style sheet is inside the body. I'm not sure why this happens uh but it looks correct i have html head title then rail style sheet ref and body so if i open we, we can search for example html head body rail style sheet example and we can we can see an example, a whole example. So we have HTML, head, inside it title, then body, then HTML. And if we have a link, rail style sheet. So my tag is incorrect. I'm sorry. It's link rail style sheet ref. So it should be <laughs> link rail style sheet ref. Okay. It happens. Uh, you cannot remember all the tags. If you remember them, uh, it might take time to forget them and you should remember them again. This happens when you program too much in many languages and platforms and it's normal to, to forget something. So, you can always search in Google. So, now we have something correct. Head, title and link okay and we can have this uh, here in my example i use block extend append which means please in the head please append this why i use this because the link is inside the the head block so if i use this one the style sheet will be missing because this will be replaced replaced by this so it's better to have this after that and not inside this or use block append it's easier to use this so in the layout.pug we use this one and and we are ready looks like the the page is correct we have html which holds heading title rel and body with header and many things uh, you can when you use the pug templating engine as i already mentioned you can either use this or you can use the pug tags a and you say for example ref equals to this and slash home and this is the same like this one you can see it is the same so f5 will have ref home okay it depends on your how you prefer i can use this syntax 
it's quite easy for, for me. So you can use sometimes HTML normal tags, sometimes you can use these pug tags which work easier. And also uh, in the pug, instead of using spans, you can use just plain text and I need to check how this happens. Pug, uh, plain text, plain text, uh, I'll put plain text in the pug. So, to put plain text, we, if you use P, this will be put in paragraph. If we use this, it will be like this. If I have this, this will be piped. But this is a special character, like you can see. So, we can have script also, to have JavaScript. And we can have this dot which looks like the dot, maybe it's, no, the dot doesn't work like I expect. So you either use this tag span or you should find a way, uh, for example, use this vertical pipe. So it will print the word span, okay? So the vertical pipe says that after that you have something piped. So if we refresh here, we have this one, just a text. Okay, but it's easier and more readable just to use span. It will not be so heavy, it's okay. So you have a link, span, then another link, then another span. Okay, let's let's go ahead with what I have prepared for you. So now when we inject this title here, you have short URL or it might be URL shortener like it's originally planned to be. URL shortener will be the title of the page and here it will hold the same thing. If I refresh, the title will be now URL short. What's next? Uh, we already have this. It's time to add some CSS to make the header and footer look better. Let's do it. The next thing is to add some styles because we want this to be with uh, this green background and this one to look like this. So we can first change the fonts. Uh, so in the CSS, I can say that for the body uh, element, I want to say, say font family and I say Arial Helvetica Sun Sheriff. This is something very, very usual. And if I refresh, the font is now already this. Later, I want to uh, select the header and footer and uh, all the headers and footer tags. I want to say background, background should be green. Green. Okay. And let's refresh. This is very ugly, so I should change this color. Do I have a color selector here? No, I don't have. So I will use this RGB, uh, the function RGB of, and I can, uh, I can enter. I'm sure there is a color picker here, but I'll just put uh, 233 and 164. Let me see. This looks better. And maybe I need to have some padding. So padding, for example, 5 pixels. Uh, it's not enough. Let's make it 8. And also make it... Uh, so maybe at the left I will need 
more something while uh, no it's 8 and 12 at the left it should be more yes this works a little bit better uh, something like this uh, or it might be 5 and 10 it, it's not quite uh, important but le let me check the, this it could be just 8 pixels or something like this and I'll need a border radius for example 3 pixels this will make this interesting border uh, I have a mistake here so what I have here are these borders here and it looks nice okay so what else maybe this main should be at uh, margin left 10 pixels to move all this in internal on the right hmm, works better and maybe uh, to, to, to have this works better I'll have for example some div here uh, div uh, some text if I have this looks like there is no space here do you see and if you have something here there is also not enough space here do you see so I may add at the footer some margin top or if I always have this uh, here it will the title it will always have this but at the bottom I will need some space so I just put something like uh, like this footer margin top 15 pixels for example let me see whether it, this is enough hmm. works very well and of course I should delete this because this was just for testing works very well and we can continue later we added some CSS to initially make these uh, pages work better the next thing to implement is the short URLs table this one short URLs this table let's do it we want to build this thing now okay so how to do it uh, we'll need to edit the MVC controller and add the this URL slash URLs this if someone says get URLs we should respond correctly so in the controller remember the MVC structure we have app get when someone gets the home page this controller will execute if someone gets the slash URLs this URL okay then this will be fired so I'll have a model which will hold the URLs and I will render uh, urls.pug or short urls let me see what will it will be just urls I want to have the same like in, in the tutorial in the slides because if you repeat this uh, to, to have the same names uh, in the in your app structure okay so I will need to add a new view which will be called urls dot puck urls dot puck will be similar to home so I will copy the home and will uh, have it and here I will show short urls and short urls okay and here I will need to have a table in the content table uh, which will have uh, 
the head in the, the head in the header row has have th uh, I will need this uh, original URL the first column the second will be short URL th short URL okay then I'll have date created th date created and th visits how many visits this URL has then I'll have the body table body and I'll have table row with some td mm, I'll put some some data here just to to have some data mm, okay and let me see what will happen it is not finished of course but I want to to build the app step by step and after each step I want to show you what happens in, on the screen so it's always better to write a little bit of code and test it run it and see whether it works correctly instead of what writing tons of codes and uh, checking after two hours of coding uh, where are your bugs so if someone requests slash urls we'll take the data.urls this urls here okay and we'll render them through the urls.pug with this model these urls will be rendered here and let me see what happens i will need to restart because otherwise the controller will not reload and ha huh, looks good original url short url date created visits i have original url short url date created visits okay i need to put some real data here so i will need to have uh, some kind of iteration here so this is how it is done i have this and this is this stack each url in urls so for each url in urls for this urls in the model model.urls i want to have a for loop for each loop and for each url i want to render it for example url dot and i'll need this one to see dot url or maybe this should be you just you you dot okay let let it be url this is the this field here i will have also here the url dot short code it will later be changed to url then i will have the date url dot date created let me check date create that it should be that date created with t why it is like this it's a bug and also visits url dot visits let me check what will happen hmm urls are empty let me see why i don't know but i'll check urls in the model are data.urls and we have, have this data here correctly let model and render urls with this model maybe i should restart the app and still it looks like there is nothing in the table okay 
let me see main i have table i have header which holds a row with table heading columns and a tape tip body which have the first row row second and third and something happens here oh i have url class url why i have this element url something in my template oh it's a graph equals and it should be something like this this is the syntax to use this is a url then i'll need to have here span and i want to use the this syntax please evaluate the expression url dot short code and please here evaluate the expression of url dot date created okay and in this span please evaluate the expression of url dot visits let me check whether this works or not oh looks like it's not the correct syntax so it looks like this is the syntax but aha but without the, the this uh, without this so if i have a ref this is what i need but inside the href this will be in the href if it is attribute it should be like this but otherwise it's not hmm looks very close to what i want to achieve but if i use span here this is oh it's not the dollar it is this one the syntax is a slightly different i'm sorry but uh, it's normal that you don't remember anything in programming remember this from me it's it's okay it's okay to to have something that you don't know and you weren't over the, the road of building something if i prepare myself very well i can know everything and uh, write without mistakes but this is not the real case in programming in programming in software development you usually always search for something oh how to do this oh i forgot how this can can be done etc 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 so uh it's usually a process like this so why don't we can't use this and why use the dollar i'm not sure but do you see here the url is not is not correct so that's why if we have in attribute something in the in the attribute with this pick templating engine we should you should use the dollar if you have something in the in the text you should use this tag or um, this symbol sharp okay so now this works correct soft to new york knack wikipedia let me check wikipedia the link is correct the date looks ugly but we'll fix this later when we can format it and the table looks ugly because it doesn't have any css any styling but in short we are done with the url view template and it looks some kind like this one okay so let's go ahead and add some styling for the table because we want 
it to work better. Okay, styling the short URLs table uh, should look like this. Let me see. I open the styles and I start styling the table. I say, table, please, all the tables in my website. They should be with 100%. I'm not sure this is necessary because by default this should be something but it's better to have it uh no by default they they use enough space to fit their content uh, so i will need background color background or without color it should work uh, well uh let's just see what will happen Okay, I have this, this one. So let me change F5, 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 F5. F5. This is a kind of white green. F5, red, FF green and blue F5. So if we combine them, we'll have something like this. It is a quite of a kind of green. This is the background of the table. Okay, we continue uh, styling. Then uh, we can use the to to style the table headings and cells. Let me show you. Uh, so I'll have table mm, th and table td for both of these. Tags, I want to have a different background which will be uh, something let, let, let's use some darker kind of green and see what happens hmm looks like this okay so this is not the color so I'll take the color here D D D uh, oh, it's it's just says uh, yes. I don't need to change the background. I need to change the bow, the border. So border will be one pixel solid border with some kind of of color, but it should be something like, uh, for example, this one, or it should be something. Let me just d d d. DDD darker color. So, do you see these spaces here between the cells? I need to, to tell the table to have border uh, collapse to be collapse. And now they will disappear. And now it looks better. Maybe I will need some paddings and margins here. Let me show you. Uh, it will be for the table th for the sorry table th I'll have padding, alignment, background and color. Uh, so let me show you table th for the headings I'll have a mm, Padding 8 pixels and color white and background background green. Okay, but maybe not green, maybe something. How to choose the command palette? No, I think. I can choose the, the color here, but I'm not sure how. Uh, it will be, ah, do you see this? Wow, there is a way to make this like this. So, but I will use 107, 182. 
and 109 and now this is the color the background and the color will be white this yes this is what i have and this is the color i think a darker color would work better but i'm not sure why why it's not uh, selected yes okay we will need some padding maybe and if we want this not to happen we can avoid it with a special tag but it's generally it's not necessary because if we use a mobile phone we'll have less um, space so this short url it's a good idea to to break into two lines when we don't have space uh, okay we need some padding for the td table td some padding 8 pixels for example let me see works better and here the the space is too much so we'll have 12 and 8 uh, okay f5 so we'll have maybe 12 pixels and 8 pixels the idea here is to have more space at the, at the heading and looks good so we can continue let me check if i'm missing something we have the border we have the table the color and border collapse we have this text the line left but it's left by default ah it's not left here at the th it's not quite important but let's let's say text the line left this is to move this on the left this column titles it's not very important and also we, what i have prepared for you is to to style the mm, the even table rows i'll show you so if i have table table rows i can change the background ah why to be green for example just just to see what happens this will change all the, the lines but i want to have uh, and child of even the even rows only so it will change only the even rows and let me see df f0 d df f0 de okay and now I have some kind of mm, looks similar like this looks better and the only thing I should add is this mouse over when I have table tr uh, pseudo tag hover and when the hover happens I have this uh, rg P of one nine zero two zero seven one eight zero. Okay, and I think I'm ready with styling my table. Yes, this is how it looks like. Looks good. Okay, we achieved this already, and I'm happy that we are very close to, to what we want to achieve. The next thing to implement is the add URL, the form and the form submission. Let's do it. How to add this? We need first add URL. Add URL handler for the HTTP GET request. And we'll have maybe some model I'm not sure what to put inside. Maybe 
maybe if we have a form we will need url and shortcode so we'll have a url uh, which will be something like new url uh, or empty and short code which will be uh, some kind of code this will be the model and will handle the at url which will display the form at url form and now we need to add a file which will be called at url.pug okay and we'll put here at url just to check whether this works or not we need to restart the app if we change the templates they are loaded at runtime and we don't need to restart the app but if we change the javascript code we should stop and restart it again to for this to to reload, to reload. so at url shows this what we'll need in at url maybe we can take the home page and use something like uh, at url and at url and here we'll have spam to do so this is at url short urls home short urls at url hmm, looks good maybe in in bigger uh, in bigger size it will look better but we are going in the right direction so the idea when we have forms in programming in, in web development we usually have http get which loads the forms this shows the ui like this but when we submit the form it will use an http post so i will add this in the controller but okay this will be added later uh, but basically this is the concept if we need to handle the form submission we use post if you want to display the form html we use get i'll get back in in, in a few minutes here so let's create this form we'll create a table in the table we'll have a label with some input label with some input and a create button so we'll have form method post action at url we'll have something like this form method post because this when we submit the the form this will be called and the action the target url to post the form data will be slash at url inside this form we'll have a table and in this table we'll have a table row and another row in the first row we'll have td and in the td we'll have a label uh, which will be url and another td in which we'll have input type equals text and a very similar thing here on the second row which will be uh, let me see what happens here url and short code okay short code but it's not, this is not all all we need. We need some other things. If we click here, we want this to be selected. So this should has also a name and it should, should has ID, which is called URL and ID, input ID, short code, okay let me let me check what happens so if i expect this i have a form in the form i have table 
in the table I have one with label and at the second cell I have input ID URL and the label will be for this URL label for URL and label for short code okay so this is what I have and here in the controller I have this short code to be new code so it will be uh, in the at URL here I can have this uh, value equals to dollar short code this is from the model let me check whether this works or not hmm, new code this comes from the controller I have new code I can have new arrow here and if I refresh uh, and I need to restart the server okay I'll have uh, this one URLs not uh, at URL maybe I can have value here the value will be sorry input type text I need to have name equals to URL and here names equals to short code this is the parameter name which will be passed to the server this will be used later but we need it generally and we have URL here okay let me restart and check what happens here so hmm looks like this the end of string cannot be found let me check why this happens uh, okay I need some space here input value ah I have unclosed bracket here unclosed value so I have this label for URL if I click here this is selected if I click here this is selected so this is how this works short code with small letter maybe here no it's it's not with small I want to build the same thing but if I click here the lay on the label it selects this box this is because I have label for and now I have ID URL and this for this for specifies the this ID the name is something different and the value this is what will be sent on the server and the value will be what's inside this by default by default I think we should not have any value but this is another story okay so if I refresh this I have empty so I can click here and I don't have the submit button ha huh. I I need to add it so in the at URL maybe I need to have this tr and I'll have a span equals to two because I know I it's on the cell it's a cell which will spend two two columns and it will be something like input type equals text uh, uh, not not text submit and the value will be uh, at URL or it, it is create create okay let me check hmm 
input type submit what it says the indentation is not like expected ah oh, looks like like i closed my app td i should have no here i have incorrect spacing okay i remove this extra space input type text it's not text input type with p type submit Ha! Huh, i have it and if i go here at the network i can check that when i submit uh, it tries to post this form data payload which is url empty or it should be knock of com and knock of code for example and if when i submit this here it will be post with this url form data okay this will be processed by the server and now i need to have because there is no post handler for at url i need to add this in my controllers so i will have i'll copy this and i'll have post of at url and it will be something like i will just redirect to the home page redirect to uh, to home okay i will restart the server and this is how it works short urls at url when i add a new url it redirects to the home page i will write the logic to handle the redirection later but now this is what we have the next step in building our app is to add support for mobile devices i mean styling for uh, well working user interface for small screens because small screens uh, have limited capability to show for example large tables or large uh, images and others so let's see first what the problem is the problem is that the ui will work broken on small screens we can just directly see this here if we open our app and uh, this is how it works and we press f12 and we open this and uh, this mobile um, device toolbar and we choose for example uh, some kind of iphone when we use iphone it will work like this if this is the screen of the iphone okay uh, it will look like this looks like it's very small why because we have a viewport problem let's see this in action this appetize.io is a special is a is an app uh, website which starts for you a um, real device real iphone this is not uh, emulation uh, simulation but it's iphone with ios so i can open this here to see to show you that you really have a problem if you don't uh, put enough effort see it's very very small it should be bigger but it it's it's small and everything here is too small do you see so our app is not designed for mobile so how to fix this to fix this we need to define correctly the viewport what the viewport is this is the visible area of the page for example here at this example the viewport it is big and if you want to see a portion of the screen for example this view view portion uh, you need to zoom in so by default on mobile devices the screen is large and the zoom is uh, uh, zoom zoomed out in order to see this large screen but we can redefine this to use the width to be a, the, the device width the, the width for the uh, the device and the initial scale to be 1.0 let's see how this works this will in fact 
fix the issue and will increase, uh, will limit the screen width and uh, will increase the fonts to, to their normal size. So uh, let's uh, add this. We, we open the layout.pug, uh, the layout template, and we need to define here a meta and say uh, meta name equals to viewport and uh, content equals to the following with equals device width comma initial scale 1.0 equal to 1.0 and when we save this and refresh it will work correctly now so on iPhone it will work really well this is the your iPhone okay and the it works very very well this page is not still <laughs> ready but uh, we fixed the, the device viewport problem so let's see whether this fixes the problem i can open this uh, safari web browser on on my phone on appetize.io uh, i need to when i paste i need to slow down and then click okay but it generally it works now correctly and that's great so what's next we can see a larger view scale initial just to see what's inside if we this will zoom our our size so see what happens i need to refresh and to do this do you see this is if i change the uh, scaling so the viewport is the concept that we have a larger screen and we have zoom inside it. So by default, uh, the screen is large and the initial scale is less than zero. So it's zoomed out in order to fit to the screen. But we want to have the width to be the device width. For example, in this case, the device width is 375, uh, not like in a normal uh, web browser which is uh, more than 1000 and uh, the initial scale to be one by one not zoom in not zoom out okay so this is the first fix you always should do when you want to support mobile browsers and responsive web design for smaller screens the next thing is to to fix the tables so long tables will have a horizontal scroll bar for example, if we have some uh, large URLs here, I will just create a large URL here to, to show you. If we go here, this will be a problem. Do you see? There is no space to fit this. And if we open this from a, a mobile device, for example, iPhone, uh, it will look ugly. So. I refresh this. Oh, I need to, to restart the app. Uh, but do you see? This on your mobile phone is very, very, very ugly thing. So you should do something to fix it. You either should use some kind of responsive tables or you should cut the text in the table columns in order to fit. I'll show you the second one. So do you see? There is a horizontal scroller, which is not acceptable for mobile apps. Okay, so how to fix this? There is a very, very easy fix in the, uh, this word break, break all in the table TD. I will add it in the table TD, uh, word break, break all. That's all. I don't need to refresh because it will just work. So do you see how this works? This breaks the long URLs here into multiple lines, 
without uh, changing the, the table width. The table width stays always in 100%. Eh, sometimes it could still be a problem because this is not broken as well. But basically, uh, I can use this also for table TD and for table TH. And <laughs> this will break them as well. Uh, but it will work ugly. Okay, on very small screens it will work ugly. So I prefer to avoid this. And I prefer if things get very, very, uh, if the screen gets very, very small, it's still better to have a scroll bar instead of. But basically on a normal uh, mobile device like iPhone, you are supposed to have no uh, you are supposed to have no scroller looks like i have a scroll bar here but it's not it's not normal i think this is a bug uh, here but i'll i'll check in a real iphone of course you can check from your uh, normal uh, phone just like I am, I can open this and see what happens. I don't have a horizontal scroller here or my mobile phone. And here, if I open this, it opens correctly and there is no horizontal scroll bar. So I believe that, uh, that uh, this tool here is not perfect because it's not a mobile phone it's a kind of simulator of shorter of smaller screens but basically we have fixed this the next thing we want to fix is this this form see the form uh, this at url form uh, if the screen is very large this is very very ugly that this form looks ugly so we can do several things. The first is to limit the max width. For, so if we have uh, form and table inside the form, so we have tables inside the form, we will have the max width limited to 600 pixels, for example. So now we have something like this and uh, this works like this if we have space the the size will be limited if we don't have space it will be shrinked okay the next thing to do is to to use the form input uh, the input fields form input fields everything except the button uh, so in this lay, uh, in this at URL, we have input type text and input type text, and this is button. This is not input. The button, uh, this button. So we want to style this and this to be uh, with one hundred percent with with one hundred persons. Okay. And this will help a lot. But it looks, see, do you see this bug? Here the space and here the space is different. This is because of the border box sizing, border box. You should say box sizing, box sizing, border box, which means that this 100% should be calculated correctly, including the border and the padding uh, of, the, of this. So when you write this, it now works correctly. This and this is the same. Okay, so it's 100% of the TD. Uh, it's something like as much space is available here, this field will take it all, all of it okay so mean width will also work well because see what happens if it is too small and we can 
put some menu it it's it's not necessary but I usually put put some min width for example 100 pixels because I don't want shrinking less than something because this is uh, unreadable maybe 70 is is the absolute minimum where this is is good no 50 maybe 50 is is okay you can still type something here if it is 50 if it is less it's not a good idea but see what happens if this comes smaller and smaller uh, okay i'll return this to, to to 75 for example when this comes smaller and smaller the left column breaks so i will fix it as well i will say that form table uh, the first child TD which means that this is the first column in a, in a table which holds form which means this column these TDs so first and I will say this will be with oh with 10 persons which means that this column will be 10 persons and the second column will be 90 persons of the space which is 100 of everything but not much more than 600 pixels this is uh, i say 100 persons but uh it, I have 10 persons here and this is as big as possible so the second column will be 90 persons to, to fit this as big as possible and this is how this will work 10 persons but no more than this, this will be the smallest possible and I need to say white space no wrap here uh, you see uh, what does this white space no wrap means that this should never be wrapped which means that in short this column should be uh, the smallest possible to fit this without uh, wrapping it into multiple lines so this is how it works if it is too small here a scroller will appear but basically on mobile devices this will not happen because they are uh, they are white enough to fit this so this is how we have this we can test it on uh, bigger screens for example like this um, rotated screen on the iPhone or we can see the tablet and on, on a tablet it looks very very well and on a normal phone in this direction and in this it looks very very well and we can also check on a live device because sometimes uh, this uh, browser checking uh, will not match exactly the real device behavior but looks like everything works correctly now uh, we have uh, hold the app rendering correctly on iPhone so I think we are done with styling for mobile whoa we reached the end of this second part of the URL shortener JavaScript project tutorial the next part 3 is coming soon so be patient it will show you how to implement the app functionality the data layer the view URLs page the at URLs page which holds the form UI and the submission logic at the server side and the open URL functionality with counting the visits for each URL. If you like this lesson, you can join the learners community at softunit.org to access more free coding tutorials, hands-on exercises, dev courses and free mentorship. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications for my next videos. Goodbye! See you in my next video lesson.